What do you think happens to our soul after we die? It becomes something else. Yeah. And how did you come to that conclusion? I did a lot of LSD. <laughs> <laughs> if I gave you a New Testament in Hebrew or English, would you read it? Sure, yeah. Yeah? Why not? As our Messiah, Yeshua, in His name we pray. Amen. 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 Thanks. Hey, God bless you. What do you think happens after we die? Uh, we become part of everything. And I feel like uh, we, we're getting uh, in a different kind of body or something like that. Really? Yeah, maybe a plant or the ocean. Or like or... a juke? Maybe, possible, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Get stepped on? I guess so, man. <laughs> might be, yeah. And who decides? Uh, our particles become uh, something else, you know? Okay. And who makes that decision? Where we go? No one, nature. How did you come to that conclusion? Uh, after a lot of research. Really? Yeah. That like nature decides where nature goes? Yeah, it just, it, no one decides. It's just part of everything, you know? It's like there, there is no decision. It's just the, the, the flow of life, you know? After a flower dies, yeah. the particle leaves the flower and yeah. it becomes something else. Yeah. You yeah. Know? Physically. Yeah, physically. Right. Exactly. But what about spiritually? Energy. What like about for the human being, what do you think happens to our soul after we die? It becomes something else. Yeah. And how did you come to that conclusion? I did a lot of LSD. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah. That's good. So, um, from, from our perspective, yeah. from our faith, like Yeshua, Jesus, was a Jewish, right? Okay. And the Bible was written by Jewish people here in Israel. Mm -hmm. And so we feel that our faith is not something that's not too far away from the Jewish people. It's right here. Mm -hmm. And that by putting our faith in, in Yeshua, okay. that was prophesied, through our, prophesied in, the, in the Old Testament, in the Tanakh, okay. that we can have a reconnection with God, forgiveness of sins, and live eternally with no pain and no suffering. And we have that assurance because it's written in the Word of God. But we also have personal experiences that showed us that by putting our faith in Yeshua, He changed us completely. Okay. Complete change our life. Like, Elisha, behind the camera, was a, a male prostitute on the streets, addicted to drugs. No I way. was depressed and anxious and, and suicidal. And He completely took us out of this and, and changed us completely. And so we said, what happened to us? This was something that we weren't expecting. Yeah. Let's go study. Let's go read the Tanakh and the Brit HaChadashah. Let's go see what it, what it means. So by reading through, we found that our experience was we found our experience happen in the, in the scripture. And so, by living out our faith, we're telling people about something that they can also experience. And they can have assurance that they can have... You, you, do you love life? Of course, yeah. You don't want to lose it. Are no. you afraid of death? No. Not afraid of death? I, I had anxious about it yeah. until I was 21, 22. Uh -huh. But I somehow, by, by meditating, I got rid of that. Yeah? Yeah. Do you think that, that uh, if you went to the doctor right now and he said that you have cancer and you have uh, six months to live, that you still wouldn't be afraid? I guess it will bother my mind a it bit more. It changes things, doesn't it? Yeah. When you're faced with death. Mm -hmm. Not faced with this beautiful ocean and the, you know, the, the scenery here. Yeah. But when you're faced with death, because you, you do you have children? Not yet. So I have, th I have three boys. And... When the more people that you have in your life that you take care of and mm -hmm. that you love, yeah, you think about it more because you don't want to lose them. It's true, yeah, yeah. The attachment. Yeah, the attachment. And I think the attachment, I used to think attachment was bad because it brings suffering. Mm -hmm. But the attachment is necessary in order to have these relationships. Yeah. And I think it's a good thing. Yeah, um, that, we don't, that we don't live our life like, I am alone and I don't need anybody. I can survive on my own with nothing. No. You know, I, I'm fine without, any, without God and without uh, relationships. But I guess it's about balancing the attachment and the non-attachment, you know? Yeah. yeah, it's difficult to do though. Yeah. Especially when you love people so much. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, so do you think that, that you can know for sure what's going to happen to you after you die? Uh, I guess so, yes. It's possible to know? Yeah, That's just by good. letting go the mind, you know. You mentioned something in the big. Well, sometimes if you let go of the mind, it can you can lose your mind. Yeah, <laughs> and you can go crazy. Yeah. What do you mean by crazy? Well, the Bible says that that belief, faith in God, or the fear of God, is the beginning of wisdom. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. And that faith in God and faith in Yeshua brings a sound mind, a clear mind. Mm -hmm. And so, like for us, before we came to faith in, in Yeshua, mm -hmm. we were all over the place. I want to do this, I believe in this. I was meditating for 20 years. Wow. 20 years. And I was thinking positive thoughts, you know, affirmations for 20 years. Wow. And I ended up depressed. Why and is ended that? up Because I realized that my reality and my philosophy doesn't match. They, didn't, they, could, they, do, they weren't lining up. Mm. It did when I was in my 20s because I was single and having fun. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is great. It's working. Uh -huh. But as soon as I started to have a business and children, marriage, and, and I was a father and a husband, I started realizing that, wait a second, I have responsibility now. Yeah. And I have pressure. And I have pain and suffering. And how am I going to deal with this? And my philosophy wasn't giving me the answers. Just think positive or just meditate. It was making me separated from my family. Interesting. Yeah. And I realized this isn't supposed to be happening. I'm supposed to be coming enlightened by now. Mm. 20 years. I'm sitting and meditating and clearing my mind and I really was very disciplined. And then I realized something's missing. And then that, that, what that was is a realization that I really don't know what I'm doing. I think I do, but I don't. Mm -hmm. So the I, Bible led you to the place no, where you know... Actually, it was the opposite. When I came to my lowest place, I started having experiences that were related to Jesus. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't expecting it. As a Jewish man, how am I, why am I going to expect this? Right? I'm having, I started having experiences related to Jesus. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying, this is strange. Here he is in a book and someone's talking to me about him. I turn on the TV and there he is everywhere. Mm -hmm. yeah. And during this time, I start crying. Wow. And I thought, what's happening to me? Something is, is changing in me. Mm -hmm. And I started to feel like I was coming back to life. But la muerte me, in spite of myself. Okay. And I thought, okay, I'm negative. I'm not meditating anymore. I hate life. But yet, something's coming up and I'm coming back to life. And so, Jesus was the only thing that changed in my life. And so I thought, okay, I'm going to now start looking into Him and studying about what's happening to me. And I realized that through Scripture, I found out what happened to me. That by, me. by putting my faith in Yeshua, when he, when he revealed Himself to me, okay. that He gave me His Spirit, a new heart, new desires, and a new mind. Mm. A mind that... that that seeks for righteousness and goodness and a heart that wants to do the right thing based on his rules, not my own rules. And by doing this, it completely changed me. But then what I realized is that I also get the gift of forgiveness of sins and everlasting life. The gift. So there's nothing I can do to become reconnected with God. It's only him coming down and becoming man and dying for me, which is the ultimate act of love, mm -hmm. and me, by me putting my faith in Him and realizing that He rose from the dead, then I can receive that gift. And then I have the, the desire to do right and good in the world. And so, by living out my faith, it tells me to go out and share this news with everybody that I meet. Wow. Which is why we come out here and do what we do, because we want you... What's your name? Liav. Liav. Yeah. Oh, that's a beautiful name. Thank you. I'm Jeff. Just nice Jeff. to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And I appreciate you uh, spending time with me here. Sure, yeah. So that by, by sharing this news, people can think, hmm, maybe there is something to it and I can look into it and see for myself. Because we're always told what to believe. Mm -hmm. From school, from, from kindergarten. From our parents and from the rabbis and from, you know, from the government. We're always told what to believe. Yeah. And we usually accept it or reject it. And our, our reasons for accepting or rejecting are not usually based on past real, experiences. Yeah, they're based on past experiences and we're based on how we feel at the moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's true. And so, so our, my, my, my job and my desire is to simply just share the good news. Beautiful, man. Yeah. If I gave you a New Testament in Hebrew or English, would you read it? Sure, yeah. Yeah? Why not? Excellent. Which way, what would you prefer? Uh, in Hebrew. Hebrew? Yeah. It's amazing because you, you can... Here, hold this. Some people think, oh, it's a Christian book. It's not for the Jewish people. But it's extremely Jewish. This book was written by Jewish people here in Israel. Wow. And it's about the Jewish Messiah. And the first sentence of the Brit HaChadashah, the New Testament, you can read it. Sefer HaYochasin Shel Yeshua HaMashiach Ben David Ben Abraham. It doesn't get any more Jewish than that. <laughs> and we know that if we look, if we look in... Uh... Oh, you're welcome. 
if we look in the uh, Tanakh, we realize that the, the Mashiach had to come from the line of David. Mm. And so this is the first indication that Yeshua is who he said he was. The Jewish Messiah come to save the Jewish people first and then the whole world. So I pray that this uh, book stirs your heart yeah, sure. and that you uh, seek for, uh, for answers. And, uh, and if you have questions, you can, uh, you can reach out. Yeah, God bless you. Yeah. Can I pray for you? Sure, yeah. Li Liav? Liav. Liav. Uh, God, I, I pray for Liav. I pray, thank you for his open heart and his beautiful smile. Thank you for his warmth and, uh, and courtesy here in our conversation. Lord, I pray that you, your spirit fills him with knowledge and truth and wisdom and that he comes to recognize you as our Messiah, Yeshua. In his name we pray. Amen. 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 Thanks. Hey, God bless you. Come back.